In this paper, we present a set of artistic choices and real-time shading techniques, which support each other to enable the unique rendering style of Team Fortress 2. Heavily influenced by early 20th century commercial illustrations, the 3D models and shading algorithms in Team Fortress 2 work together to quickly convey geometric information using rim highlights as well as variation in luminance and hue so that players are able to quickly identify other players in the game and assess the possible threat. Through very intentional art direction, this goal was supported by designing characters with distinct silhouettes that can be easily identified even with no lighting cues. The body proportions, weapons, and silhouette lines were explicitly designed to give each character a unique silhouette. In the shaded interior areas of the characters, the clothing folds were designed to echo silhouette shapes in order to emphasize the silhouettes as observed in the commercial illustrations which inspired our designs. For the architectural elements of the world associated with each of the two teams, we define specific contrasting properties. While the red team's architecture tends to use warm colors, wooden materials, and angular geometry, the blue team's buildings are composed of cool colors, industrial materials, and orthogonal forms. By maintaining a minimal level of visual noise in our world design, we employ an almost impressionistic approach to modeling. This philosophy was also central to our texture painting style throughout the game. The red and blue colors used to paint opposing areas of the game world are analogous to one another as guided by this reference color swatch, with muted colors dominating and small areas of saturation used to provide further visual interest. The texture maps used on the 3D world are impressionistic and maintain a minimum level of visual noise. This is consistent with background plates found in animated films, particularly those of Hayao Miyazaki, in which broad brushstrokes appear in perspective, as if present in the 3D world rather than on the 2D image plane. We apply the same approach because we feel that its inherent frame-to-frame -frame coherence has superior perceptual properties to an image space painterly approach. To shade our characters, we combine a variety of traditional and novel lighting terms. Here we see a character with a traditional clamped Lambertian diffuse term and constant ambient. You can see that the character loses definition for pixels not hit directly by the light source. We scale, bias, and warp the Lambertian term to achieve a look consistent with our illustrative influences. Instead of a constant ambient term, we sample from an irradiance volume in order to provide a higher quality, spatially varying directional ambient term. Here we show this term added to the warped per light diffuse contributions. And here we show these diffuse terms multiplied with the albedo. We also add a number of view dependent terms to further enhance the look of the characters. Traditional Fong highlights from up to four local lights are incorporated, where quantities such as a scalar mask, Fresnel parameters, and specular exponents can be specified by artists. We combine these Fong highlights with additional broad Fong lobes, which are modulated with a harsh Fresnel falloff, causing them to appear only at grazing angles. Finally, we add in a dedicated rim term, which is derived from our irradiance volume, so that characters are always highlighted with an appropriate rim term, even if they are far away from local light sources. This combination of art direction and technology choices has enabled us to create a compelling visual style while serving critical gameplay goals such as the ability of players to readily identify each other during the fast-paced action of Team Fortress 2.